Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Huh? Huh? What? It's just a dumb question. Forget it. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the guy with the pig. You mean talk about the guy with the pig? Like, look at the weird guy with the weird pig. How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Don't take it so seriously, Jesse. Like I said, I don't mean anything by it. I'm just nervous. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. Oh. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for you it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's gotta wear a costume. <laughs> As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax, it's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Shh. 
shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building co competition. Really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. I wish they were all gonna be there. Does nothing please you? You have to meet all the members of the super secret, super legendary Order of the Stone? I wasn't saying it wasn't cool. I was just saying that would be cool, too. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because- What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're gonna start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared, we can't lose, cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing, forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three, team. team. Prepare.
We know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Hmm. Oh great, there's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. No name? No names? Got it. Great. Okay, no names. You guys are in booth five. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. <laughs> We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Reuben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, pa How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. So, it's settled then. We're cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelots! 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 Whoa. Handshake? 
We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Builder Bump. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. We may not have a name, but still, this year, we can't lose. Try your best. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build. We'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. <laughs> oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be Ooh. careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon! <clears throat> Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm, pig tracks. Could that be Reuben? Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Hey, Ruben. I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Definitely belong to a pig. Hmm. Huh. There's no way Reuben made these on his own. Reuben, are you in there?
Reuben! No, not you guys. Pigs! Hey, all pigs but Reuben, shut up! It's getting scary out here. Reuben? Reuben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben. There you are. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I think we're good. I think we made it.
I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. That's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> don't worry so much. I can handle myself. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Hey, as long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. What's in it for me? Respect. Admiration. Not getting punched in the face for saying that just now. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah? See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won! I knew the zombie would put us over the top. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Hey, I'll be a gracious winner, but that's it. He'll get one handshake and one good build, good build. Nothing more, nothing less. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! Uh, Crap! Uh, this doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. The only way off this bridge is through them. <laughs>
sometimes it burns! Don't you know? You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. But talking's what I do best. Just do me a favor and suppress your inner talent, okay? Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jessie's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jessie. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends and their time of need paid off yet again. You guys built one hell of a zombie. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks in there. Somewhere. We deserve a victory party. Who's in? I like all kinds of parties, but especially ones where I get to celebrate winning. About time I'll be the guest of honor at something. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <clears throat> ah! And just who are you? I'm waiting. You know, you really shouldn't creep up on people like that. It's... It, it's creepy. Don't test me. I'm sub... 